Hi, I'm Rob from IDP, and today I'm going to talk to you about IDP SmartMark, and specifically about the new feature to force the black panel to print on specific zones of your card. So some of you are familiar with SmartMark. Um, SmartMark is a feature in the driver that allows you to upload a bitmap image to the driver, and then that image is printed on every card. This feature, uh, we modified this feature to basically force the K panel to be printed in the specific zone that you've identified in the bitmap image that we'll create. Some customers nowadays are using web-based badging applications. And a lot of times the web-based badging applications don't allow you to control the color panels that are gonna be used in specific areas of the card because we don't have that much control over Google or Microsoft or whoever you're using for a browser. Additionally, a lot of badging applications nowadays are using PDFs, right? So you'll download a PDF image or a badge and then you'll print that to the card, to the, to the printer. That also doesn't give us the uh, control to be able to assign specific panels on specific areas of the card. So what we've done today is we've created a tool that will allow you to designate a specific zone for the K panel to print in. So typically those zones would be barcodes, QR codes, or maybe some micro text or smaller text that you want to pre-printed in the black panel. So the method that I'm going to go through to create a bitmap image is the exact same method that we would create a smart mark like O panel bitmap or an FKO, so fluorescent bitmap or a PKO. So using this same methodology, you'd be able to create a smart mark O panel image, a smart mark sorry, fluorescent image or a smart mark PKO image. So let's jump in and let's create the bitmap. And what I'll do is I will start with paint. Most of us have paint on our PCs. So that's the easiest place to start. So what we'll do first off is we need to create a, a, a canvas in paint that's the same size as the card. There's a CR80 card. So we'll go in, we'll go into image properties and we'll change the dimensions here to be 10, 12 by 36, and this is pixels. All right, so now we've created a card size canvas. Next thing we do want to do is we want to designate or, or assign in a color to the card so the printer knows what not to print black. So we do this by changing the background of the card to a blue. And then we just use a straight blue. So RGB is 0, 0, 255. And then we say OK. And then we use the paint bucket tool and we drop that. So now this is the area that the printer will just print normally. It'll print the O panel down normally and it'll print uh, your colors down normally. So now what we want to do is designate that zone where the black panel. We want the black panel to print. So let me just grab this tool here. Rectangle tool, excuse me, square tool, whatever you want to call it. We'll put it in the zone where we want the K panel to be printed. Typically a barcode's at the bottom of the card. Um, so we'll do that there. And then that image, or sorry, that we'll fill that with a black color. So again, we'll select black. Go to the paint bucket, and then now that zone is black. So now that, that zone right there, again, will be printed in the black panel. But let's say you had another area that you wanted to have black as well. So you can just do it again. Let's just say, I don't know, it's the serial number of the card. We're going to do the same thing. Go to black. Use the paint bucket. Go to the paint bucket. Drop that in. Now we have two zones on the card that are designated K panel printing only. And again, the blue area of the card is standard printing, normal printing, normal overlay, et cetera. So now what we want to do is we want to save this as a bitmap image so that we can upload it to the driver. So we'll say save as bitmap, and then I will just drop it on my desktop. 
Now let's call this Cade Zone and save. So now that image is saved, I can get out of paint and let me jump into the driver. Just go to printers and scanners. This is obviously Windows 11. I'll go into the 51 series driver and then I'll go to preferences and then I will upload the image in the printing tab. So in this media area right here, this is where we'd upload the image. So right now it's a standard, which means it's going to print the standard O panel, you know, the YMCKO after printing. As you can no you notice that it's blue, right? So that's why we created our bitmap to have that blue background. So what we want to do is we want to use the define or user defined card option. So that'll fire open our Windows Explorer, we'll grab the K-Zone bitmap, and now there it is. That's what we just created. So now the printer knows color in the standard areas and then use the black panel in those areas. So we hit apply and the printer's ready to go. So now this is a default setting. So no matter, um, turn your printer off, turn your printer on, turn your PC off, turn your PC on, this is going to be there. It's the default now of the printer. Um, again, it's software agnostic, so if you're using somebody else's software, this will always kind of override that printing function, and you'll always get that K-panel in those specific zones. So on another side, so secondly, if you don't want to go through this and create a bitmap, IDP does have specific resin settings that you can use. So if you're using your standard driver, standard applications, and you don't want to create a bitmap, we suggest that you change this to black dots. All right. 90% of the time, if you change this resin black processing to black dots, that will take care of that composite black problem. So what we talked about in the beginning is when you print from a web browser or from a PDF, we can't designate the panel. So the printer is going to interpolate the colors as best it can, and normally it's fine. Um, but sometimes the black in that image will be printed in composite black. So YMC it creates black. If we change the setting here in resin extraction to black dots, then that will do a better job of printing that black image as with the K panel versus a YMC composite black. So again, you've got two options now. So you can create a bitmap and designate a zone to be printed with a K panel, or you can use the resin extraction black, black dots only, and that should also help with making sure that what you want to be printed with the K panel, typically a barcode, will be printed with the K panel. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for listening.